Okay, so let's look at the profile matrices. I have eight matrices in total, monos, and eight stereos called PQs. Each matrix has 12 inputs. To select a source, we click on the drop down menu at the top of the channel. You can see that I can have any aux, group, or mains. Those are all outputs. If I wanted to use an input, I'll click on the user drop down menu and I can choose up to eight sources. These eight inputs are shared across all of the matrices. To select which inputs I want to use, I click on user assign, click on the drop down menu, and here you can see all of my input channels and effects returns are available. So these eight sources are shared across all eight matrices. In that I mean, that's the only eight sources available in the user group for the matrices. The PQs have their own eight sources as well, distinct from the matrices. Again, common to all of the PQs. Let's compare that to the SXL. This 24C has 24 matrices in total. Each of those matrices has 24 sources. The sources can be any mixture of inputs and outputs. And the sources in the matrix are autonomous. Here you can see all of the input sources available to me, any channel, any aux or group if I have some, mains, console directly from the console into the matrix, and finally monitor bus A and monitor bus B. This is very useful for enabling a mixture of comms and talkback mics with my mons bus into my listen wedge or my IEMs. So this Excel has 24 matrices with 24 inputs without limitation. Let's check out the processing on the two versions of matrices. The profile in terms of processing the output of the matrix bus has the delay. You can flip the phase of the output. You can add a 31 band graphic equalizer and of course up to four plugins if you need them. The SXL in contrast has more powerful channel processing. In common with the profile it has phase and of course delay. It also has a seven band parametric EQ which can be controlled directly from the console on the knob module. Here you can see the seven bands gain frequency Q for all seven. In addition it has a comp limiter and if you need to you can add a 31 band graphic equalizer and of course up to four plugins. So just to be clear Every output on the SXL, whether it's a matrix, an aux, a group, a master, has this channel strip with full processing and up to four plugins.